Poverty is a problem throughout the world. And poverty can't be solved just by the people themselves who are in need. We have to help them. Governments have to help them. But more importantly, there's such a great deal of resource and financing and other assets within the private sector that we can mobilize to help people around the world. Thing, the reason I'm drawn to the Initiative for Global Development is because it's not a trade or a business association. It really is a group of professionals, companies, and experts who want to understand and motivate the private sector in terms of economic development in the host countries. A group of very interested and interesting uh, business leaders and government leaders together in order to make sure that we as a country are doing everything we can to help resolve some of the poverty issues around the world. I really believe that governments can't do it all and, and that's where I think um, an organization like IGD is playing such a really important role. It's, it's non-governmental, it's um, uh, really driven by people who have connections to government but, but it's driven by people who understand the private sector and understand the private market. So if there is a mantra for IGD is that we're all business by business but we're not necessarily just for business, we're for good results. We want to work very closely, not only with our own colleagues in the private sector, but we have to clearly engage with the public sector. The role for IGD in Africa is going to be a very serious role. There's a thin line between competition and collaboration. And that thin line in most of our markets here is not very much seen. Therefore, having a platform where business leaders who may be competitors outside could actually come in and share experiences and identify areas of synergies and collaboration. I really enjoyed uh, particularly this last event um, that IGD hosted. I mean, you really bring people together and uh, have an opportunity to catalyze conversations that otherwise might not take place. Now we are in Abuja for the WEF in, in Africa. And the IGD precedes that with, their, the, with the Frontier event. It's a, it's a very good precursor to the main web and brings about some ideas that can be taken up even at the web. Uh, one of the great things that IGD does is um, provide a way for uh, people to share ideas and share experiences and so that you can be bigger than yourself. Uh, so that you can learn from other people's mistakes, learn from other people's successes, and that kind of one-on-one -on -one learning process, I think uh, that's hugely valuable. IGD brings together the leaders from a number of different sectors to talk about problems that are really similar to all of them. Um, still, you can talk about deals and find partners and, and, and broaden that business, but I think it, it, it lets me step out of the power um, focus and, and really think about business in Africa on a broader level. Uh, I think the other important role that IGD plays is in highlighting uh, credible businesses um, and very, very strong local partners that uh, international investors can look to partner with in Africa. Because the conditions are so different there, it's quite often uh, difficult for people in the West to understand how they can make the right uh, investment choices and IGD is great to network those kind of partnerships. So when I do enter new markets, I've met a number of people at this conference alone from countries I haven't focused on but would like to. Um, and so now when I go to a new context, I have somebody to call. For having IGD and the caliber of people within IGD partnering with business leaders in Nigeria, in Africa, is definitely a platform that could be uh, of significant importance. It's been working on things like uh, power purchasing agreements that can be used across national borders so you don't have a different one every country that you go to. It's been working on social impact investing and how to do those analysis and studies. It's finding local partners that can do rigorous, robust and transparent analysis of what's going on in the, in the business environment. Poverty alleviation will not happen without growth. To have growth it needs to be sustainable and it needs very much to be in some fashion equitable and inclusive. I'm very honored to serve as one of the co-chairs of the Leadership Council of IGD. It's a position that I enjoy. It is an organization that I support with all of my energy. It's a great organization.